This Raw Vision video is brought to you by Metro Solar, proud partner of the Richmond Football Club. Tim, thanks for joining us on Raw Vision, thanks to Metro Solar. A loss to Box Hill on the weekend. It was a conversion that hurt the boys early? Yeah, early in the game we, we had one goal eight at, at some stage in the first half and uh, yeah, our score, we could never put Box Hill under scoreboard pressure and we, uh, we played some really good football, however we just kept turning the ball over in places which was easy for them to score and uh, shots on goal which we missed, they, uh, they were getting at the other end. Uh, Matt Thomas back in the side, he was uh, impressive in the midfield? Yeah, Matty Thomas continues to play really good footy. He, uh, he had another 35 possessions, uh, 15 plus contested, and you know he's always putting his head in the hole. He, he's winning clearances. He's, he's doing a lot of the right stuff at the moment. He just unfortunately can't get a, an opening in our senior team, but he's playing really good football. Matt D, another who continues to put his hand up for selection. Yeah, Matty D's been fantastic off half back. Uh, you know, played another solid game. Uh, continues to, to get his positioning right as a defender, and uh, he's contributing offensively at the moment, which is something that uh, he's been working on for the last 12 months. And his last six weeks of footy has shown that he knows how to do it. And Matt McDonough, another who's had a couple of cracks at senior level, is he still um, pushing for senior selection? Yeah, it was good to have Matty back in the side. He, he missed last week as he was a carryover player, and to come back in, he gives us real grunt around the around the contest. Every time the ball gets in his hand, he he uses it well. Um, you know, he's a really important player for our footy club, and he's another one that over the next couple of weeks is pushing for for senior selection. Tell us about Reese McKenzie's development. Yeah, Reese has been uh, developing well. You know, apart. Apart from one game where he missed because he was sick, he's, uh, he's had five, six weeks of, of really good performances uh, in and around the critical contest. You know, he's marking the ball well, four or five contested marks a game. and you know, He hasn't hit the scoreboard, but there's no expectation on him to, to be doing that. We, we just want him being that target for us uh, up forward, and as he slowly develops, the, uh, the scoreboard will uh, start to tick over. Uh, who was your Caden player of the day on the weekend? Yeah, I think the the Caden player of the day this week goes to, to Liam McBean. Uh, he uh, he kicked another five goals, but it's not just about the goals he's kicked. He we've been challenging him in recent weeks to to be able to kick them more from uh, critical contests, and he was able to do that with three or four strong marks on the weekend. Uh, he's chasing well out of defence, and uh, that's why he's this week's Caden player of the day. At the bye this weekend for the boys, does it uh, give you a chance to freshen up for the last three rounds of the season? Yeah, it does. It does. We, we've got a lot of things we need to need to work on. The game was, uh, you know, if we had a kick straight, it would have, we would have been in the game on the weekend. But, you know, in the second half, it came to a brusque end when we, uh, we gave up six, seven goals from turnovers. And we need to go and look at why we did that. And we've got a week and a half to do that in preparation for, for the game against Coburg, who, who were fantastic when we played them earlier in the year and have played some really good footy uh, so far this season. Just finally, what's your message going to be for the, the remaining part of the season now? It's it's to play the Richmond way. You know, you see, you, you only had to look at our performance on Friday with our seniors. That um, you know the way that we're defending, the way that we're moving the ball. Uh, there's a there's a lot of positives about our footy club at the moment. And at VFL, we need to continue to try and play the same way that our seniors do. Uh, give our our players that are on the uh, you know on the fringe of getting games the best opportunity to go in there and play their role once they get a call up. So uh, the Richmond way will be our focus over the next two weeks. Thanks for your time, mate.